Aye, aye, SpongeBob. Welcome back to another episode of Fail or Fire, the series where we tell you whether something's a fail, fire, or just plain mid. I'm your host, Thundarius, and I'm joined by my absolutely fire ass co hosts, Mother Jade, and the man who's never been seen in the same place as Batman. Dylan, Matt, are you saying your parents are dead? No. If you've got Bruce Wayne money, we have a lot that we could upgrade to make this channel better, sir. Let me get to the Batcave. And uh, we are Cyber Skull Media. Today, we're covering the Joker sequel, Folie à deux. Oh, you suck. I don't know, something like that. I tried to listen to it before we recorded this, but it means delusion or mental illness shared by two people in close association. The most of this movie, I'm guessing, is just gonna be all in their heads. Oh, this'll be fun. I really liked the first one. We really liked it. We went and saw it in theaters. You like it, Dylan? Yeah, I did as well. Pretty big fans. I get a lot of the comparisons to some of the, the greats, you know, like Falling Down and Taxi Driver and The King of Comedy. I get all those vibes. Pretty solid. And it, it still blows my mind that it's the guy that made the Hangover movies. So I guess we'll see how this goes. Um, it's another sequel. The video before this was the, uh, the movie trailer we reviewed was Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, another sequel. We also covered the Gladiator 2 trailer. So a lot of sequels dropping that we may or may not really need. But without further ado, let's see if we even need this one. Two years ago, the name Arthur Fleck hit Gotham like a hurricane. The trial of the century. They believe Arthur Fleck to be some kind of martyr. <laughs> well, he's not. He's a monster. You're a monster. Eat me! Doesn't seem very scary. He does seem cracked, though. <laughs> yes, he's broken. When I first saw Joker. It's Lady Gaga. Stephanie Germanata. Churros? Somebody <laughs> say churros? I like churros. When I saw you. The whole world with you. For once in my life. I didn't feel so alone anymore. My TV now. Ah. Man, he's all skin and bones. What was that movie Christian Bale was in that he did that? The Machinist. Yes, he was skin and bones in that thing, man. Yep, he ate one apple and one multivitamin a day. That was his whole intake. And then that's how you know an actor takes their craft seriously. <laughs> a little too seriously sometimes. Yeah, then he bulked up to like 205 for um, Batman Begins. So it's super crazy. <laughs> she set it on fire. For once in my life. I have someone who needs me. How about you, Arthur? Do you still think you're a star? Showtime. It is a musical. Shade's favorite type of movie. Hey. I feel like that's sarcasm. Feel like trying to distinguish we're cutting back and forth between what's in their minds and what's real. I think some of the stuff that's fake is a little bit more colorful and a little bit more obvious, but maybe I'm completely wrong. I don't feel like they want to like tip their hand too much. I think they're trying to keep it pretty ambiguous. That's 100% in their heads. That's a dream sequence or a vision or whatever. Gotta be. I wonder if all the musical part of the movie is just going to be happening 
when it's in their minds and not in real life because it would be weird if the musical is happening in real life i wouldn't be surprised though listen that we're not giving the people what they want it's okay baby let's give the people what they want baby billy i'm an international known talent are they gonna give the people what they want is this a meta line to the people watching this trailer I feel like most of this, other than maybe some of the courtroom drama and some of the, the Arkham footage, I feel like 75% of what we're seeing would be in their heads. Him standing in there looking at the TV smoking. Yeah. Definitely what's going on. I like, yeah. I like this freeze frame here too. Sing hallelujah, come on, get happy. Ready for the judgment day. That was real. I don't know. Are you real? Am I real? Is Shades real? Is anyone out there watching our channel real? There is no spoon. What do you think, Dylan? What do you think about the Joker sequel? I am curious. I did like the first one. Like you, Thundy, I'm a pretty big comics fan. The Joker, pretty iconic character. I like the artistic take on the first Joker. I don't know, man. I, I didn't love the character. If it was any other character and like it was just a movie about a man battling those demons, I would have liked it more probably. Same thing with Harley Quinn. You know, I think Margot Robbie does a fine job. Lady Gaga has the look. I don't know. It's kind of mid. I'm going to see this movie and I'll reserve my judgments to, to see what it's all about. I'm having a hard time with it. I think it's mid. Well, here's where it gets weird because I'm going to go with with a fail just not none of it really made me want to see the movie i mean i'm gonna watch it at some point but i'm probably definitely not going to the movies to watch it doesn't seem like it's gonna be worth my time is it worth your time if we make a youtube video out of it get hundreds <laughs> or thousands of views and if it comes to that Probably, yeah. I, I don't have any urge to just be like, yeah, let's watch this movie. All right, let us know in the comments if you want us to go see this opening weekend and make a video. Do you want Shades to sit through this movie opening weekend and make a video? <laughs> We're letting yeah. you decide. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I, I think it's mid as well. I was not a fan when I originally heard it was gonna be a musical. I just, how does this work with what we just had that was so serious? I mean, if it all happens in their dream state, it makes a little sense. He's finally found someone who actually is real and not in his head. But yeah, I don't know. It could be good. It could be bad. I, if we weren't making YouTube videos about movies and entertainment, I would not be interested in seeing this opening weekend, even with rave reviews from people that I like to watch on YouTube. But uh, if the people turn out in the comments and they want Shades to go sit through it and make a video, I'm going to have to go do it. You know, let us let us know. You have to. The people have spoken. Now, I'm pretty <laughs> sure the th none, none of us are uh, are frequent flyers listening to Lady Gaga. Could be wrong. Uh, Dylan could be no. the biggest Lady Gaga fan in the world. All right, I fall asleep. I do love Star is Born. I'm not playing the, the mother monster or whatever she goes by, but I respect her a lot. But yeah, not not musically my cup of tea. Not something you're going to see us uh, review on this series. That's for sure. To wrap this up, are either one of you a musical fan? Do you like musicals? And do you have a favorite or a top three real quick you want to drop? Uh, you mentioned it. Sweeney Todd's one I can kind of get behind. I like Tim Burton. I like most of his filmography. Being a musical doesn't turn me off automatically if the subject matter or the storyline seems solid i'll watch a musical not a lot of them in my wheelhouse yeah for sure sweeney todd's probably pretty high on the list uh, i couldn't tell you a musical like i, I know i've watched him but i couldn't name one for you because disney movies count right because there's always singing in those those are kind sure. of a mix yeah I've seen all of those. I grew up watching every Rodgers and Hammerstein movie with my mother. We come to see the wizard. He's a huge musical fan and someone had to watch him with her. So I did. 
And, you know, I could appreciate them more now than what I did then. Sweeney Todd's my favorite, absolutely. Repo, the genetic opera is definitely up there. There's a few other great ones out there. Like, uh, I don't know, I'll make you wait with Antissa. Patient to find out what that one is. You know what that one is, Dylan? And Reese? It's like the only one I could think of off the top of my head. You should be ashamed! Meatloaf is in it. Rocky Horror. <laughs> yeah, Rocky Horror. I do have a musical that I know. Oh. High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we just got several people <laughs> unsub from the channel. Thank you, Shades. <laughs> we just went backwards on the road to 500. Uh, it just got a lot harder. <laughs> like, oh, fuck this guy. Yeah, I didn't say I watched it. I just knew it. You said it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably got a poster of Zac Efron in his closet. Stop. Anyways, let us know in the comments whether you think this looks like a fail, fire, or just plain mid, and whether you plan on going out to see it. Smash and like that subscribe button to prove to us that this is all real and not a delusion. And we... We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. I got caught shaving. Two country kids going outside, misbehaving. <laughs>